I always park under this tree. Uh -huh. and of course, we got this homeless asshole that makes everybody else who has an RV look like shit. Yeah. So, uh, but anyway, I usually park here for afternoon shade. You can see how I can fit right in here. Yeah. Because I groom these trees every year, so I can. I have an animal, so I cannot leave them in the sun, and it's going to be hot the next ten days. So, yeah. You don't know how stupid people are. Oh, uh, yeah, I mean, I, I've never hit anybody yet, but I'll watch. Well, he backed up and he had a bunch of shit just like this. He couldn't take the time to look in the other mirror because mm -hmm. he was parked curved like you are. Yeah. And uh, he couldn't see me and he backed right through my wall. Was he backing up or was he turning? He was, he, he was, I was here and he was parked like you are now. Mm -hmm. And he had a flatbed truck with a bunch of shit in the back that yeah. blocked his rear view mirror. So, but he didn't look through the side mirror and he backed right into me. Oh, wow. So he was moving backwards when he hit it, is what well, you're saying. Well, yeah, and he hit me with the flatbed and it freaking had a big, you know, like this shit. Yeah. And he freaking put a hole in my fucking wall. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, no shit. And what, a, what an asshole that freaking adjuster, adjuster bitch was. Yeah. And then I live in that thing, you know, I travel all around other states. I don't do this. And uh, I'm still pissed. Last year I took it to a place and the guy did $6,900 worth of damage because their technician was too lazy to get on a ladder in a box cutter and remove the original awning from my coach because I was paying to replace it. Labor only, okay? I already had the awning I wanted on Facebook for 200 bucks. I shipped it right to the store and the guy put something else on. When he ripped it off from the ground, instead of cutting it off, he put a hole in the roof about this long and then they concealed it all from me and hid it mm -hmm. because you're not supposed to be in the work area. And so then after I saw the freaking horrible fucking job the guy did, uh, but I should have never paid him like a jerk. I should have just withheld payment because he, they order, he orders a different law, awning without me knowing, no authorization, 16 feet long, it's 14 feet, you dumb fuck. And the reason you don't know is I only came in here for labor only. I didn't wasn't going to buy my parts from you, mm -hmm. okay? So if he, if he didn't want to use my parts, then too bad, because I'll go to Arizona and they'll do it. But of course he wanted to work. So he substitutes something else instead of what I wanted, what I ordered, for $388 without me knowing. And it's completely different than what I was going to order. And what I did order, I had it delivered to his shop and he put something else on. Oh, no, wow. I mean, really, that takes bald and cuts it. And because it's the wrong length, he tells his technician to cut it. So now I have to go and get Gorilla Tape and tape the end off, because the side, the whole side of the awning because he cut off all the reinforcement, the thread that goes around it, that binds it to the, if you pull the two things, it opens up like a freaking bag of dog food. And so it unra would have unraveled all the way around. So then he comes out with Gorilla Glue and tape, and tapes, tapes it, $800 that I just paid, and this is what he's doing to it. Oh, wow. <laughs> that, that sucks. Don't you have any agencies in this freaking country that investigate shit like that? Yeah. yeah I mean, in this state. Uh, you don't know the bullshit I've gone through. And I keep laying out more money. I've, it's already up to 7700 with the damage and what I paid the piece of shit. Yeah. Th then I got to pay court costs and, you know, the limited time I'm in that freaking shit town, Tillamook, Oregon. That's where it happened. This, That's why this guy does this, because if you're passing through or you're from another state, it's a hassle to go to small claims court. Oh, yeah. That makes sense. Yeah, so he don't give a fuck, okay? Yeah. He price gouges you, he does all kinds of shit, and what are you gonna do? You won't know till you're down the road. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's too bad. That's that's how a lot of people are these days, though. Yeah, you, you know? can't trust nobody. Yeah, I'm real careful, though. I, 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 I watch, you know, well, especially you, motor homes. Well, you saw it coming in. Plus, it has an extra long extension on the back that you won't see in your rear view mirrors because yeah. you're high up. So you might think you're clear of my ass end, but it still sticks out another few feet, so. Okay. 
Yeah, I'll watch before I pull out. Where are you going? Why are you here anyway? With this big hunk of shit. Lunch time. <laughs> and you had to come here? Uh, it's just that, you know, there's not a lot of places for us to eat, you know, that we can fit into. There's plenty of them down this road. There's a whole goddamn side of the highway place that has all these freaking stupid, uh, what do you call them? Those trailers that they sell food. Oh, yeah? Right oh, up. okay. Yeah, why don't you go there? Where's that at? Right up the road. Here, you go up this way. Mm -hmm. And then when you get to the light, turn right, and it's just about a mile past okay. the street. And then there's a, a trailer and a big parking lot over there. But it's got, you know, a, a coastal a coastal store and a, a U-Haul place. But there's huge parking. And even on the side of the street, there's a big shoulder for you guys to park in. And you just cross the street and you're there. Oh, that's good. Because I'm not from around here, so I, I wouldn't know that unless somebody told me. Well, go there. It's much better than here. Yeah. Probably easier to get out of too. Well, you then you just hit, then you just pull over, pull in, and you're you're out of here. Yeah. Where are you from? Oh, Salem. So we you're should. You're not from here. No. I'm not from here. I... I'm from New Jersey. You're from here. Yeah. Oh, I mean in here. I'm not from this town, so I don't, I don't know well, anything. I'm just telling you. Go up here, turn right, keep going past the Denny's, and it's a, a mile from here. Okay. All right. And then you have a choice of whatever you want to eat. Long, long way from Jersey. New Jersey? Yeah. Oh, well, New Jersey's fucked, but everywhere else is getting fucked, too. Okay? Mm -hmm. All the building and all that shit. You driving a truck must see it. All this constant construction oh, everywhere yeah. you go. I mean, how much building can they possibly do until it's... You, you, you ruin everything. They ruin everything. This town was nice 10 years ago. Mm -hmm. And you should see the shit they're doing now to it. It's freaking awful. Oh, wow. You know, it's miserable. You, you know, uh, the animals run from one little area to another area. I mean, four deer were cornered in this 12 acres that was on the river, mm -hmm. right on riverfront property, which is expensive property. So it was for sale for a long time, but I guess somebody bought it and they're putting water through there or something. and. There's geese in there, there's fox in there, pheasant, deer, I mean, all sorts of shit lives in there. And uh, that's their last stronghold so that they have access to the river. There's a little pond in there. And, you know, it's, uh, the world's a brutal place. It's like that everywhere. I mean, you should see Arizona. Oh, it's all built up too, huh? It's getting built up. So all the habitat for the animals used to, you know, they could traverse wherever they had to go. Now they've got, it's frag, becoming more fragmented. And so you'll see huge, big jackrabbits hopping through parking lots, trying to get to one, you know, you know, because maybe over there it's not paid. So it's got to hop through this parking lot to get back out in the, the desert scrub. Yeah. The, you know, the Arizona's got some freaking awesome animals too. Oh, that's cool. Well, that's what I, well, you know, I get called all kinds of names in my motorhome, and I'm homeless. But I've got four or five nice fat bank accounts, yeah. okay, to support me in that thing. And uh, so I travel around and observe the wildlife and the effect that we have on it. Yeah. It's brutal. Most people don't care, though. Yes, I know. We're scumbags. Yeah. I'm so glad I never had children. I hate my own kind. <laughs> yeah. I, the, I wish I could say I blame you, but... I get it. The decimation of the planet and everything that else lives on it, yeah. it's freaking, we are brutal. And we go from one species to another and annihilate them until they're clinging to the edge of extinction. Yeah. I mean, right now, I'm hunting fish with other maniacs because, well, the fish are in trouble on this river. <laughs> but millions and billions of fish on this river and they're in trouble and they, they have to hire fishermen to go catch fish. <laughs> Do you know that? Yeah, I saw them. Yeah, well, we're nuts out there. I'm yeah. one of them. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And so there ain't no fish down there. So these three asshole guys that started yelling at me this morning. So I know the signs. I've been doing this a while. So I know where, you know, where everybody goes and this and that. So right across from where I fish, there's usually about three or four cars on the other side of it where they're doing the same thing. So the fish are gone, okay? They mm -hmm. are gone. So uh, 
and I know that because there's not a single freaking car over there. So I'm not, if I'm not catching any fish, and believe me, you don't know the trouble I go through to get my bait, and I still caught a fish last night, and, and uh, but nothing this morning. These kids were over there yelling at me and all this shit, but they, they and I went over to watch them, and they didn't catch a fish either. See, see I told you, the fish are gone, stupid, okay? <laughs> There are other places now. You can go fish off that freaking da dam. You know where the, there's a bridge that goes in front of the dam? Yeah. There's guys that walk out, out there and fish 50 feet below. Wow. That's intense. Oh, those freaking big... Then you better put on the freaking... The heavy metal shit and your suit of armor to freaking fish there. Because the fish are huge. These big... They call them the, bri the bridge fish. Yeah. That's where they go to spawn. And they're migrating to that area so uh <laughs> so I, yeah i've seen people fish off that bridge 50 people i've done it 50 feet below it's like freaking really snaggy you know you have to use just the right line it better be yellow or pink because you won't see it when it hits the water wow so uh and then you flip your bail right now because uh you know, you'll hit rocks and you'll be snagged like that with the current coming out of the dam. That's crazy. I mean, I've never really fished, but uh, I always thought it was a cool thing to try to do, but <laughs> I've never done it personally. Oh, it's very competitive. They're all nasty. Oh, yeah? Yeah, they're clicky. They're very <laughs> clicky. Yeah. Well, nice to meet you. I'll get out of your way soon. I'm just going to grab some lunch and I'll get out of your way. Where, where are you grabbing lunch? Right over here. Safeway. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, and I'll, I'll watch your camper on my way out. No, I'll watch it. Okay. Don't back up. No, I don't. I don't really back up. I don't want to hear it. Yeah. There's a stupid store open here. Get ready to open there. Yeah. See? See you later.